Hey guys, it's Bree. I'm back. Today is Monday. I don't know. But anyway, it's Monday. So it's been one week since the whole restart thing happened. Okay, so hopefully everyone's caught up and everyone knows like where we are. Remember, we did the whole restart thing and I've been happy with that choice. So let's just start off with saying that I'm happy that I chose to start. So I got a new professor, doctor. Um, so remember our plan was to turn the same exact assignments in that we turned into the Grinch and see if one professor takes one paper and another one wants you to do a whole bunch of extra. So we have results on that theory. The results are, we were right. We were right. What one professor doesn't want, another one does, as we know, because we've been around here before, so we know how they play games. So that's good news, that we were right, and this new one that I have has been great. I turned in the same assignment number one. As you guys know, I'm in um, Capella Flex Path, a 4,000 class. So it has four assignments, but the first one is just a pledge. So you don't do anything with that. You just sign it and send it back. So the second assignment is annotated bibliography. So I went ahead, I turned that in on um, the first day I could, which, you know, the class is officially open last Monday. So that's when I went ahead and turned that in. She got it back to me within two days because, you know, they get two days to grade. She got it back to me within two days. Said great things. She's like, you did an excellent job you know, distinguished, distinguished, distinguished. She gave me all the high points, you know, said I did a great job. Easy, done, 99%. 99% when the other one sent that same paper back three times. Yeah, I turn into the new professor on the first try and I get distinguished. So, you know, we always knew the theories were correct in these streets, but this is just a prime example in real life that it's shady business out here. In the, in the educational realm, we know it's, it's a little bit, you know, shaky sometimes. But, I mean, in this case, at least we didn't have to take it. At least we had choices. So, I did get somebody asked me, though. Somebody did ask me what happened to 4010. Did I have to drop them both in order to get a new professor for the first one? And the answer to that is yes. Because the first one has to be taken first. And if you don't want that first professor and you want to switch them out, yes, that's true. You do. I did have to let that 4010 go also in order to get my fresh start with a new professor for 4000 But remember, I, like I said, I did download all the assignments for 4010, so I've already been working on those. And I also want to add, while we're on that topic, I also want to add this. Um, when you don't like the first professor, right, and you choose to like let it go and you want to pick a new one, you want to do the whole restart thing like I did if you choose to do that. Something to keep in mind is that um, when you restart when you restart for the next month and you do 4,000 and get your new professor, you, you're not able to take a second class. So I wasn't able to get 4010 also while having 4,000 open until I'm completed with 4,000. They said it was no way around that. They said they couldn't open 4010 back for me until I complete 4,000 because I dropped the 4,000 the first time to pick another professor. So I have to finish, I have to close out the 4,000 first before I can open the second class 4010. And then moving forward, I can have two classes open at the same time. But because of that restart, I can only have the one 4,000 class open until it's completed and closed before I could have the two classes open moving forward. So that's something I want to make sure is out there and something to think about if you do choose to drop that first professor and get you a new one. Um, that's just some information for you. But even so, even with that, I'm still happy with my, still happy. I'm still happy with my decision because, yeah. So I, anyway, back to the story. So we're now we're down to assessment three, assignment three. Because remember, in class 4,000, there's four all together. But the first one is just a pledge that you sign and send back. It's not really an assignment. So now we're on assignment three. I send that in. Two days later, she grades it. 
she sends it back say I did a good job done she said I did a good job I took those points I got a 90 something I'll take it I got distinguished proficient you know she wrote something nice you did a great job you know you're done with this assignment great again proven this is the same paper that I turned in the last time twice and it was sent back twice. Turned into new professor. She said, I did a great job. So, we're done with that. So now we're moving on. We got the last assignment, assignment four. I turned that sucker in. And what I did was I turned it in on Wednesday. So I turned it in last Wednesday because I knew she had two um, days to grade it. And I wanted it back by Friday. I wanted it back by Friday so that I can close the class out and then get my 4010 and my 4020 open. So she did, she graded it, she sent it back by Friday, but she wanted me to correct something. Is that that's what we're here for? We're here for real life updates. So yes, she wanted me to update something, but it was nothing like the other one. So when I turned the same paper into the last one, the last professors, she didn't give me nothing. She was, she gave me all red. She was like, redo it, redo it, redo it. This one gave me, she gave me distinguished in all the sections except for one. She wanted me to add an ethical principle. She wanted a section about ethical principles and what's the implementation if that does not occur. So I went ahead, it was just one section that she wanted me to correct or add something. So I was like, that's cool. I'll still take it. She's still great. Like I love constructive criticism. I'll take it. Like if there's something I'm missing, if there's something I need to put in there, let me know. I'll fix it and I'll send it back. No problem. So she was like, she wanted me to add that section. So she sent that back on Friday. As you know, there's no grading on the weekends. So I had all weekend. I was like, ain't no rush then because she's not going to grade it until Monday or Tuesday anyway, business day. So anyway, I did add it. I added a, uh, added a section and I named the section exactly that. Hopefully she likes it because I'm just waiting to get that back. And if, if that's good, what I wrote was good, then she'll go ahead and Pass me on that fourth one and then I can close that out um, I have a feeling she'll bring it back to me tomorrow which is Tuesday because I think she's gonna get it back to me tomorrow and so but it doesn't matter because when I post this I'm gonna already have the class closed and I'm gonna like show you guys I'm gonna show you guys the grades I'm gonna add it in this video and I'm gonna show you guys and I close out the class I'm gonna add it in this video also okay so let's just go ahead and go over those things now so I'm gonna go ahead and Open up the class here, 4,000, and then let you go ahead and see the grades. So these are the grades. Um, remember, the first thing is just a pledge. So if you turn in, you automatically get the 100. Today's the 14th. Um, so just got closed out on the 14th. All of my grades are in, and these are, these are what they're looking like. So... Um, I just want to give y'all an overview of what they look like and the dates. Um, and that's how I was showing y'all my first assignment. I got a 99. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and open one up and take a look at her comments. These are her comments. I told you guys she wrote such nice things. Um, you successfully completed assessment four. You can go ahead and close and complete the course at this time and do a feedback um, survey if I want to. So I am definitely going to do that because I really liked her. So this is what the paper looked like. This is the one, the assessment four. I just want to let you guys see it. Um, hopefully you're at least able to see it. I know it's a little like blurry, but I mean, this is the section that she wanted me to add. This explain the ethical principles. So this is the section that I added on the second attempt and that was good enough. So I just wanted to make sure I showed you exactly the section that I added and this is the rest of the paper with the little sections, conclusion, and then references. And that was it. I mean, let's go ahead and jump over to home. And then this is an overview of my due dates that I chose. And then you can see here, competency map and I just want to show you guys whoever doesn't use this or wants to think about using it I love to look at it it tells you that I completed 19 um, criterias and I completed all 19 there's 19 that you have to do in order to finish this class all my rings are green um, so that means you can close out the class I completed four out of four assessments and once all these rings are green and closed 
and once all the requirements are done then that means you can go ahead and close the class because it's completed so I love the competency map I like that they have that little visual for us this is my just one of my um, feedback that they give you um, like I said on the paper she gave me all distinguished which is so nice um, my APA she put proficient I'll take that and yeah this is what it looks like when they grade it and give it back this is how you know which sections are good and which sections you might need to add something so on this paper this is how it looks when everything is good to go so let's go ahead and open up applying research skills and I'll just quickly show you guys the first assignment that I completed and these are her comments you did an excellent job with the paper scoring guide has feedback congratulations you successfully completed the first assignment because she's so nice and she likes to leave nice feedback and I appreciate that here's the medication error paper that's the topic I chose this is what my paper looked like next time I'm gonna film my screen a little different so it comes out a little clearer but hopefully y'all can just get an idea of how my paper looked this is my reference page and in the annotated bibliography this is how the indent should be um, hanging indent so I got that in there for my reference page and that was class 4000 so these are all four assignments as you can see they were all evaluated once except for the fourth one which I evaluated, they got evaluated two times because I did the correction and sent it back. So this shows you how many times you turned in each thing. And then at the bottom it says, I can complete the course. If you click that, once all are evaluated, you can complete it and close it. And so that's what we're going to do now together. Let's go ahead and close it. So here it is. Once you complete the course, um, and faculty has evaluated all your work you can click the box and complete the course so let's click the box complete and thank you it says thank you for your re request to complete the course so we closed it out I mean, you guys are here for it so it's closed and this is an overview of my academic plan as you guys can see I have seven classes left and uh, FlexPath 4000 has moved to the bottom in the completed row. So now I have requirements completed. I have one whole class done. So this is exciting. You guys are here for it. And here's the seven classes that I have left. So you guys can see one, two, three, four, five. There's seven right there. You guys can go ahead and see that. And then so next I'm going to go ahead and do 420 and 410. So there's my academic plan. And those are my grades. Hopefully this was helpful to anybody who wants to see. I'm immediately going to open 4010 and I'm going to enroll in 4020 also. You never know, but I at least want to have the best chance of picking one that's only half crazy and not all the way crazy. So I already been looking into ones that I want to think about choosing and like backups if they're not available to get another one. So I have my little list together and um, hopefully... I get one of the ones that I've been trying to get and hopefully everything goes okay because this week we'll be starting 4010 and 4020 but as we know I already have the work for 4010 downloaded but to be honest with you guys um, I've been Christmas shopping and stuff so I haven't really been doing a whole too much but I did start on the assignment one which is like an interview so for 4010 there are four assignments and I started on the first one it's like halfway done it's about um, interviewing a person like a leader so that assignment is like um, interviewing someone and then writing the questions but they have like a template and everything it's halfway done so hopefully I get moving now that I'm done Christmas shopping honestly that's what I've been doing this week and that's what I love about Capella so that's something I really love about Capella is that it doesn't matter like if I'm not feeling it this week I don't have to do anything and if I am feeling it this week I do something so that's what I really love about the program because like, you know, right now around the holidays, who really wants to, you know, we already gave up a whole lot of time just to get our RN license. I mean, we're not trying to give up every holiday and free time to do more work. So realistically, I just want to kind of enjoy the things that I want to do, like online shop and get my stuff together for the holidays. So if I'm distracted a little bit, I'm, I'm willing to accept that this year because you know, 
past year, I wasn't able to do that, you know. So, you know, I had to do assignments because they were due and I didn't have a choice. So, but now when you have a choice, it's cool because if I want to take a week off, you can. So, that's something I like about the Capella program is that around this time and you want to slow down or speed up, you can. So, I've been taking advantage of that, but who's to say that I won't speed up in the next coming weeks and blow something you know, blow some class out in like five days. Like, who's to say? I can. We'll just have to see how it goes. So, anyway, <laughs> that's the update for the week. Um, that's where we are now. So, if you subscribe, thank you so much. This has been fun. Um, doing little updates, and I'm gonna continue to do them. We're gonna see how it goes. No pressure. You know, I wanted to do it in 12 weeks, and that would still be a cool goal. And I feel like it's still doable. I mean, only a week has passed. We're about to close out this first class as soon as she sends me that paperback, which is probably be the time that I post this video. I would have already closed out the class and started my next two. I only have eight. I have no extra classes to do. Um, when I when I transferred all my stuff in, I didn't need I didn't need to do anything extra. But the eight core classes for the RN to BSN, I don't have to do any extra electives, none of that. So it's just plain old eight classes. So, I mean, we got one done and. We have 11 weeks left and I have seven classes left. So you see what I'm saying? It's still doable. I can still finish, so we'll see. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your kind comments and uh, motivation. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope whoever's doing this too, because I know a few of you say you guys are gonna do it too. I hope you're doing well and sticking with it. And I hope your professors are great and then giving you no problem or wasting your time. So I hope everybody's doing good. So yeah, I'll see y'all next week for another update and we'll see where we are then.